You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Good afternoon. This is Greg Valeria, AK Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. I'm pleased to talk with Steve Hoffman, the CEO and co-founder of Founderspace. Founderspace is a accelerator program and co-working space located here at 450 Townsend Street in San Francisco, California, right across from the Caltrain station. So Everyone has to really pay attention to this area because their software or their startup is going to have to interact with one of these things, right? Yeah, you can name any startup and it's going to make a difference. Like Airbnb, they're not in the Internet of Things, right? Okay. They're not now, but soon all these homes will have this data about them. And they'll gather that data and present it to people uh, online who are interested in renting a room and a house in Norway. Well, if that house has Internet of Things devices, it's going to tell, it can give them important information about the house that they wouldn't otherwise have. Even if you are a startup and you're not focused on the Internet of Things, why you need to keep tabs on it, why you need to incorporate it into your future plan. So it's sort of like mobile was several years ago, oh, yeah. where not everybody had a mobile app. They had websites and other things, but the, the writing was on the wall that you better start thinking about mobile. You better have a mobile strategy. Mm -hmm. You better be thinking about how to move to mobile. Now that the Internet of Things is going to be moving into all aspects of consumer and business, businesses, you have to have an Internet of Things strategy. Anything could be an IoT device almost, right? And anything can and eventually will be. Mm. So like you look at this chair. When I sit in this chair, I still manually have to adjust the height yeah, yeah, for yeah. myself and, 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 the, and the backrest. Well, what if I came and when I sat in the chair, it recognized who I was. Mm. You know, all everything will have, uh, you know, from my phone will we'll have a little chip in it. That right, could right. tell the chair with a chip in it who I am. It could automatically adjust any chair to my specifications in, in, in any office in the world that has an, in, you know, Internet of Things chair. This Internet of Things ties into the whole automation movement we're seeing now. You know, we are in the industrial revolution, then the, you know, the information revolution, and now we're kind of entering into the smart device robotics revolution. Wow, that's cool. And that is going to change the workplace. I mean, we're going to see a huge displacement of jobs because, like, literally everybody in retail will, can be done by a robot. I mean, oh, man. I mean, whether we like it or not, yeah. it's just like if you work in a fast food restaurant, you know, that has to be a, tr that's going to be a, a job that will not be around in 10 years. I mean, right. think about it. All those things that people do, and they're kind of boring jobs, and they can be replaced by machines. Wow. <laughs> that concept, this blows my mind. Yeah, just so you, mind. those won't be around. You'll be just used, people will become more and more used to interfacing with machines on all levels with everything they do. The big Apple announcement was amazing, right? The yeah. smart pay, and that's just the beginning of Internet of Things. They're putting a little device there. You press, you know, you, 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 you use your phone to buy. It's just the beginning. You know, already you go to supermarkets now, yeah. And the, the, they're the people who used to pack your bag and, yeah. and, and to do the cash, they're disappearing. No, it's you now. <laughs> yeah, it's you doing it. And soon it will be a robot doing it. And whatever, it's gonna, it's not going to be human beings, right? right? It's either going to be you or some machine or a common and most likely a combination thereof. I see chips in absolutely everything. And it goes beyond just consumer things. It goes into the workplace. Mm. So everything in the workplace from time card, you know, punch cards, the old fashioned way of doing it, it's all going to be you just, you don't do, you, people won't do that anymore. Their devices will tell people where they are and how many hours they've clocked if they're an hourly employee. You go to manufacturing on the assembly line. We're already seeing it being totally automated. It's just going to get more automated. Like everything will have a chip in it in, in, in a factory. Um, we're going to see robotics, you know, are coming into homes and robotics into everything like whiteboards, walls, you know, everything will be smart and everything will talk to everybody, everything else. And that's why when you're a software developer, no matter what product or service you're off offering, you're going to either be getting data from the Internet of Things or giving it to the Internet of Things wow. or interfacing in some way or another. Right. It's going to impact your business.
projected, I, I've seen some numbers. Well, what's the, do you know what the rough projected um, market size of this is currently and what it's going to grow to roughly? Yeah, n no idea. Um, yeah. I will, <laughs> I, 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 no, I've seen a lot of different numbers yeah. and everybody has a different number. It's sort of like how big will mobile be when people yeah, are sure. asking like, oh, yeah. you could come out. It almost doesn't matter. Got it. You know, you either know it's, it's, it's small, medium or large or very large. This is very large. <laughs> so yeah, this the, is very it's large. It's the super size, right? Yeah. So it's going to be huge. And it depends also how you define Internet of Things. Mm. Up. You know, it's yeah. it's a good. Those are good points because I, I I I've traveled to Japan a lot, and I always felt their infrastructure and everything was a lot more integrated than ours. But now with this Apple announcement yesterday, they 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 seem to have pulled a lot of the big players together to try to create this infrastructure. There are very few companies that could do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Japan was ahead of us right. in that respect. They're behind in others. You know, yeah. everywhere in the world, you have different yeah. kind of spikes of innovation. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the few companies in the world, well, Apple and Google, that could make that happen. And Apple, with its whole integrated ecosystem, you know, from hardware to software, is in a, you know, one of the, the best com companies in the best position to do Either, it. But anyway, thanks for, thanks for the interview, and I appreciate your time here, Steve. Oh, my pleasure. All right, this is Greg Vloria, a.k.a. Social Greg, on Twitter for the NerdStalker Media Network, where we believe in tech, startups, design, and you. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and be careful out there.